right in there. Fill it about halfway, just like that. Now don't let your turkey fall over. Leave it up like this. And this was just about half of a Velveeta cheese. Perfect. And then we're just gonna take shredded hash browns. Mm. These are the frozen kind, but you can shred them yourself if you want. And just get a big handful and gently sprinkle those in there. And you can push them down just a little. Get another handful, just like that. Perfect. And this is good because it's a thick cheese, so it's not gonna overflow. You can kind of mold it with your fingers, just like that. And then we just have a sweet white onion. Onions. And then you're just gonna take about half of those at first. We'll see how many we can fit. And push those down in there. You see how that cheese is very moldable? Yep. That's the good thing about Velveeta cheese. You're not gonna overflow anything. It's gonna get a little bit messy, that's all right. And shove those down in there. See how it just kind of encases the cheese? Yeah. And now you should be good to lay it down and nothing's gonna flow out. See, just like that. And then you're just gonna take olive oil. This is extra virgin, but you can use whatever kind you want. And you're gonna give your turkey a good drizzle. This is gonna give you that perfect golden brown crust or skin. I know some people don't like to call it the skin. And just take your fingers and give your turkey a little massage. You just wanna make sure that olive oil is completely coating all of his skin. Getting a little jealous of the turkey. I know. Just <laughs> like that. And then you're going to take your breadcrumbs. These are the Italian herb kind, but you can use panko or whatever you have on hand. And just give your turkey a good sprinkle. This is going to give you that fried effect that you'd get from frying it in oil, but in your oven. So it's a little better for you. I'm not going to say it's healthy, but it's healthier. Just like that. And give your bird a good coat all the way around and just rub it in so you don't have any big chunks of breading. You don't need too much, just a good thin layer. And then you're just gonna take the rest of that leftover Velveeta cheese, whatever you got left, and slowly just drizzle it. Yeah, creamy goodness. Right Look at that. on top. Look at that. Well done, beautiful. Isn't that delicious? Bring it back around and just cover it as much as you can with whatever you got left. And that's just going to soak onto our turkey. Perfect. And just let that naturally drip down the edges. Get that last bit off there. Perfect. Take your smoked paprika. And then you're going to want to get this all over your turkey. This is just going to make sure all that flavor is perfectly smoked and delicious. Because we're not getting it from a smoker. So we got to add that smoke in with smoked paprika. Perfect. A little salt. This is pink Himalayan, but you can use whatever you got. Perfect. And then just some cracked black pepper. That smoked paprika smells delicious. It made it smell like it's straight from your dad's smoker. <laughs> it smells so good. And that is it, you guys. Look at that. Look at this bird. Can you see in there? Stuffed with your oh, veggies and cheese. out of every corner. Coated. We're just gonna take our bird and come over to the oven. We have it preheated, preheated to 400 degrees. 400. Open her up. You can do 450, but this is just gonna give us a nice, simple golden brown. And pop that bird in there. And it'll be done in about an hour. Look Final at that. That looks so good for Look some reason. Look at that cheesy. <laughs> Gooey so turkey. Nice and golden brown. It and smells so on the top. good. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had a cheese covered turkey before. And when you cut this baby open, it's going to be filled with your potatoes and your onions and all of this gooey cheese. Are you ready to eat this? Let's cut it open. Oh, let's go.